Well, hello everyone. I'm Bob, and this is my 1973 Egg Harbor Sportfish boat that I'm renovating. Now, in this episode and the next episode, I'm going to be wrapping up what I call the side panels back here in the cockpit. Um, I've got a few videos out where I've actually fabricated them and fitted them already. Um, but this episode, I'm going to show how I permanently mount them and uh, do a little prep work for painting. In the next episode, I'll do uh, the actual painting. I'll put the mahogany base trim on, get that varnished, and actually get them installed. Now, my intent was to do all this in one video, but it got too long, I'm trying to keep my videos 20 minutes or less. So I divided it into two uh, videos. Uh, the good news for the people that watch my videos, like in the first two weeks, because I do it every other week right now, um, I'm not going to wait two weeks to put out the second one. Uh, hopefully, it'll be out within days, so you might want to just watch for it. So let's see how the... Um, first stage goes here in this video. Okay, so what you just saw me do, and I did that yesterday, was a method they call drill fill drill. Now, if you're not familiar with it, uh, the idea is to keep any water from infiltrating into your core material, plywood or wood or balsa, whatever, whatever your core material is. And um, the idea is to drill a larger hole than you need, fill it with thickened epoxy, and then drill the size hole you need in the actual epoxy. That way, if any water gets past the fastener, on the sealant, whatever, uh, it's not going to get into the wood and rot it out. So that's what I did. Now, the method I used was just putting tape on the backside and just filling it. <laughs> tried to use a little paintbrush, back of a paintbrush, to try to get it down into the bottom. And that worked okay on all the shallower holes. But on these thicker holes here, in the thicker material, I should say, uh, I didn't get it all the way down to the bottom without any voids. Uh, what I should have done with the method I used with the tape on the back was just let, should have just left the tape off because the epoxy was thickened enough that it wasn't just going to drip right out right away and um, should have just pushed it in until it was popping out the back side and then put the tape on and then continued filling the top. So that would have worked better. But since I had some voids in there uh, this morning when I looked, I had to fill those voids and um, yeah, to grind it out and fill the voids. It wasn't a lot of voids, it was just something there. And while I had the epoxy thickened and ready to go, I just covered up all the shallower ones as well, just to make sure they were. I had enough material on there so they can sand it off nice and flush and flat. And so I did all those this morning, so my idea was just to sand the front sides here and uh, go over to the boat, but I gotta wait for this thickened epoxy to <laughs> kick off before I can sand it in 50. So anyways, I gotta do something else.
I'm just trying to get the face of it, face of this block, a certain distance away. And so this shim is actually giving me what that distance should be. And um, it's a little, it's a little sketchy just because this piece of plywood is rounded over and I can't get it perfectly, but it's kind of more of a guesstimate, I guess, in the end here. But if I get it close, it's not super critical, I don't think. Of course, it's sticking out further than I want it to stick out, which is sucks. But, um, yeah, we'll get it figured out the next time. Alright, well, it didn't go exactly to plan, and my little shim trick didn't actually work as good as I thought, but in the end, it's okay. What I ended up doing was just sanding down the block so I could get the spacer in there. Alright, as you can see, port side is in. A large panel but it's not incorrect um it's sticking out too far i put the blocks in too far sticking out too far so i gotta redo those my method to get it in didn't work <laughs> so i'm trying something different on this side i think this is gonna work um uh, got this little panel in here it's just a temporary one i've got the shim clamped to it and that's the correct gap that I want at the top to match what's going on on the other areas. And so all I did, and pardon the shakiness here, because I'm pulling around, but um, you can see the line right there. So I just took the block, shoved it in there, <laughs> and then traced around it. And that was the way to do it. <laughs> It's so simple compared to what I was doing. I don't even want to tell you what I was doing. But um, that's how I'm going to fit this. And then I'm going to screw this in. And we'll see if this way worked any better than the other side. Well, hey guys, how's it going? Um, <laughs> I took this week off to actually work on the boat all week, mainly. And um, <laughs> first day, which is actually a Saturday, I would have been working anyways. Um, I was actually gonna go to the wooden boat show down in Mystic, but 
Um, apparently we're gonna get hit with a hurricane tomorrow, so <laughs> I have to get over here and secure the boat, secure my house, and uh, probably only gonna be able to work a half day here. So, a little bit of a bummer of a start for my first day of vacation for the boat stuff, but uh, we'll have to deal with it. hot today but I got these panels in screwed in you can see uh, along here a couple screws here and there okay guys well I'm gonna try to sound a little more upbeat than I actually am it is Friday night I took this week off from work to work on the boat and um, started with tropical storms and ended with high humidity and heat. So needless to say, I didn't meet any of my goals for getting anything done on this <laughs> boat this week, which kind of bummed me out. But enough of that. Um, here we are, like I said, it's Friday night and um, today was so hot when I went over in the morning, I actually decided to just grab these panels and bring them home because I figured I could start putting some um, fairing compound on them. And at least get the fairing done, you know, started and going. Because I want these panels to be nice and flat when I paint them. So, um, yeah, I brought them home. I got them in the garage here. I put some fairing compound on this morning. Got busy, did a bunch of stuff today around the house. And now I'm uh, going to spend my Friday night sanding this off. <laughs> I, I don't know how far I'm going to get, but I'm going to give it a shot. You know, it's less I'll have to do in the morning. To do this fairing compound, I... Um, how I do it is I rub my hand uh, over the surface and try to find the highs and lows, mostly the lows, I'd say, and circle them with a pencil. And then I just fill in the pencil circle with a uh, fairing compound. So it looks big, but it's not going to be that much on there once I start sanding. It's pretty thin, too. So, uh, yeah, that's my method, and that's how I like to do it, and um, that's how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to get started on this. Put on some tunes and uh, and uh, have some fun here on Friday night. All right, guys. Well, it's next morning and I'm woken up pretty happy. I actually worked about three hours on these long panels. You can't really see where I sanded because they're backside up, but I'll show you at the boat. Uh, but I got those done last night and um, I figured out a little tip this morning that would have saved me some time there. But anyways, I just turned on some Irish music and... Uh, you know, just went to town, no filming, just just sanding, sanding, and got into it and um, got those done. So I was pretty stoked this morning to just have to come down and finish off these panels. You see, it's, everything's covered with dust in here. I had a few seltzers. I may have cracked a Guinness uh, when I finished last night. You know. But anyways, <laughs> getting into the Irish spirit. But uh, yeah, so this morning I'm back over here and I'm just sanding these smaller panels down. Now a trick I did this morning, just from you know getting a little frustrated last night, I just used a long board over here to do everything. And this morning I said, you know what, this the first layer of this um, 
compound, and I find it with a lot of fillers and things. It's kind of sticky. It's got the ridges in it, and um, kind of clogs up the paper. And um, yeah, so I decided to go over this with my dual action sander first, and that's kind of how I got it to the stage it is here on this panel. Kind of feathered the edges a little bit, and um, tried not to sand too much off to get rid of the flatness, but uh, but just get some of the higher heavier stuff down and that makes pretty quick work with that when I got that um, hooked up to my vacuum system here uh, and then then I moved to the long board and start sanding away and this is kind of the result of that and that took me like hardly any time at all to do so if I would have done that for the longer panels I could have probably cut my time in half I'd say so it wouldn't have been as bad now, uh, I say you're always learning something, but I probably probably knew that and uh, just forgot about it and just retaught myself after experiencing, experiencing some uh, longer time working on this thing. So anyways, I'm going to finish off that panel there and then um, head over to the boat and um, pretty psyched today. The heat wave finally broke and it's going to be 70s in the 70s and cloudy today, which is going to be like a boat workers paradise for me after what I've been experiencing <laughs> this week so I'm pretty psyched about that and um, hopefully we get a lot done over there so we will see you at the boat All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed that and you um, come back for the next one, which, as a reminder, will probably be out in a few days. So until then, have a good one, and we'll see you really soon right here on Renovation Sportfish.